I'm here with my cousin who flew in from St. Louis and uh, he's quite the beer connoisseur. So yesterday we spent uh, the day traveling around to different breweries, rock art, uh, the shed. We spent the evening here and had dinner at the Alchemist. And then he wanted to come here today to uh, get some of the Heady Topper. Uh, well, we were on Beer Advocate. Uh -huh. And um, I'm here with my boyfriend. And I don't know, just coming up to Vermont, this is the first time I've seen any snow this year. So. <laughs> I've always wanted to open a brewery myself. So about three years ago, I started up a, what they call a nano brewery, one barrel at a time. I make beer down in Warren, Vermont. Lawson's finest liquids. is there more than anything it's just helps create buzz among beer drinkers so to speak <laughs> they uh it just gets them talking about it and it gets our beer into people's hands all around the country possibly all around the world when people start trading these bottles of beer so it's cool So I figured I would offer to help out John on bottling day. Hand bottling 600 bottles is a lot of work, more than a full day of work, and uh, be part of history, the first ever bottling of the Hetty Topper, as I'm sure it's uh, bound to be known uh, more far, far and wide every day. And I'm sure there'll be a long line waiting at 11 o'clock and those bottles will fly out of here in a matter of a few hours. And there's a great line, yeah. It's fun, a lot of fun. I think there's one guy in particular sitting at our bar last night that was going to sleep in his car all night. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's dedication. <laughs> that is dedication. That's a word for it. Uh, I've gone out to um, Portsmouth Brewery before in uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire and waited in line. I got there at about 2 a.m. It was pretty chilly out, raining. Got pretty wet. That was probably the craziest beer experience I've had. Uh, anyone that's willing to stand in line in snow flurries and 25 degree weather for a beer at least longer than an hour. So yeah, I, I guess I, I'm a beer nerd. Well, I mean, once the internet came about, that's how everybody got to connect on stuff like this. Whereas you used to just go to a pub and sit there, and if you happen to meet somebody at the bar, you did. The uh, the community is very actually. We were just talking about that, like uh, really cool people that uh, you just you know show up randomly at a place you've never been, and you have you know great conversation with people. It's, it's really nice. It's cool. And then especially this beer is supposed to be one of the best double IPAs around. So had to come up and try it. A good excuse to take a trip up here too. It's even nicer when you come to Vermont. You can travel around and go to all the different breweries and visit them. Try it, especially their new their new lines when they come out. Now it's getting much more specialized. Uh, you know, there's barrel aging going on. There's you know sour beers. You're the first one. How do you feel? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thirsty. I think it's just it's such a tight knit com community that with all the you know the Bud, the Millers, the Coors drinkers of the world that when you meet someone that actually appreciates good beer and appreciates the craft that the brewers put into brewing the beer. It's an art, and in a sense, you're drinking a work of art. In the in the beer world, Vermont is uh, right there on uh, on top. Vermont's known for its craft brews and its hoppy beers specifically. Oh, yeah, uh, we have a long growing tradition for for hops in Vermont, and a uh, long brewing tradition. And IPAs are always uh, always been the top of the list. So this is one of the best. Get the beer out there. Get Vermont's name recognized a little further. So you can meet people instantly and set up meetings and know about beer releases and be on top of that stuff. So it's just transformed the whole culture. 15 years ago, we never would have been able to do something like it. How would you ever let people know about it? People wouldn't know about it until two weeks after. But now it's instant. I can send out a, a blog and 
4,000 people know the second I send it out. I, I wish the camera could, could smell that because it's unbelievable. Well, he's going to take it back with him to St. Louis in his suitcase. <laughs> We're uh, where are we going at next? We're going to uh, Warren Country Store where there's another beer tasting. Yes, it's a fun business because uh, you get to drink beer. papers and um, new loans and trying to get the new brewery going and then all of this it's overwhelming and I'm just so humbled by everyone here yeah. digging through my well, shit well, and I wish I was digging through shit more. Cheers! Thank you! Eddie Dapper!